Welcome to the Brainy Face Project. This is Michael from Binary Cafe, and I'm going to try to do this review of the Securify Almond touchscreen wireless and router and range extender in about the same amount of time as it took to set it up. So this is going to be a short review. There's an Ethernet cable in the box, but you only need that if you're using it as a router. I'm using it as a range extender, so the most important thing is to locate the device approximately 50 to 100 feet from your main wireless router, and that depends on how many walls you have. The distance is going to affect your signal strength, but basically it's just super easy to set up. You don't even need to connect this to your computer. It's got a 2.8 inch touch screen and it's got one WAN port which you can use if you're using it as a router to connect it to your DSL or your uh, cable modem. It also has two LAN ports if you want to connect it uh, with Ethernet cables to computers. Those are 100 megabits per second. It doesn't have gigabit Ethernet ports. but using the stylus at the back of the unit which is recessed all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions for setup it only takes a couple of minutes you basically identify your network you supply it with the security credentials and when you get done you've got an extended network with the name by default of underscore almond it's only single band so it supports 2.4 gigahertz not 5 but it does support 802.11b, g, and n up to 300 megabits per second. We're using it to extend our wireless network to a room which is way in the back corner of the house and we've got an Xbox back there and the connection's been really good hasn't dropped at all it also has a couple of applications which are just kinda cool it's got a weather app and a time app and you can play around with the touch screen but honestly once you get it set up the first time you're probably not gonna need to touch it again you're just gonna put it into like the range extender mode and just let it do its job so you tuck that stylus away and you're done the main thing is it looks like just a regular picture frame or something like that. It doesn't look like a piece of electronics or wireless gear. So for less than $80, it's a great buy. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.